Merci beaucoup. Tout le monde, que Dieu vous bénisse. Aujourd'hui, c'est votre temps de recevoir un miracle. Today, your miracle. Where are you? It's coming upon you today. If you are sitting down and you cannot stand up, that miracle will jump on you there. You will rise up in Jesus' name. If you are lying down, that miracle will meet you there. Healing, deliverance, open eyes, deaf ears opening. Today, today, oh, should be Pobu. For you in Jesus' name. Father, we well, thank you tonight. We well, bless your name. The God that cannot fail. The power that cannot fail. The goodness that cannot fail. Today we're asking, as you come upon everyone, salvation for everyone. Healing for everyone. Deliverance for everyone. Power manifestation upon everyone. Everyone will receive in Jesus' name. The Lord visit you today. And great, great things will happen in every life in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you very much. You can sit down. Today we are talking on something you have heard before, but it comes another way to you. Jeremiah tells us in Jeremiah chapter 33, reading here from verse 6. Behold, I will bring it, health and kill. He says, stay there and look. Stay there and see. Stay there and behold. He said, you will see something tonight. I will bring it, health and kill. I will kill them them all of them everywhere here the alpha location and also online everywhere i will kill them the different kinds of ailments and when he says i'll kill them the ailment of your soul the ailment of your spirit the ailment of your mind, the ailment of your body, the ailment of your family. It says all the ailments, all the diseases, all the impossibilities. It says I will kill them and I will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. I will reveal unto them. That means it will show you tonight. You will get it tonight. Uh -uh. There's no amen. The Lord will reveal the mighty blessings of the Lord upon your life tonight in Jesus' name. I'm talking to you on our faith flight to life abundant in Christ you understand flight it's like we have an aeroplane because anybody could use bicycle motorcycle anybody could use a car 
and then he drives to the destination of life abundant in Christ but they are slow you take a flight you cross over mountains you take a flight you cross over the ocean the flight you are taking tonight is the flight of faith no mountain will disturb you tonight no river will disturb you tonight no obstacle will, di will disturb you tonight we're taking a flight of faith and we'll fly over every challenge over every difficulty and all the ocean of storm will not stop you tonight all the ocean of unbelief will not stop you tonight we're taking a flight of faith over every difficulty and we're going to land on life abundant in christ that's why he says he'll bring us abundance of peace and truth our faith flight to life abundant in christ there are three things we're looking at number one is the flight into the land of milk and honey the flight out of our problem out of our dangers out of our difficulty the flight into the land of milk and honey number two our faith in the lord of miracle and healing the faith we have that we're able to step on that flight the faith we have that the pilot will not miss his way into the miracle and healing the faith we have in the pilot that he is a, a, an experienced pilot and he will fly us from where we are from our sickness into our healing the faith in the lord now you need to understand that when we are on the flight the person beside us might be standing or, or sitting that does not disturb our flight and the attendants that are going up and down they may give us water they may give us biscuits that does not affect our flight the faith we have that we are flying to the place we want to get to is on the man that is controlling the flight is on the pilot there the wind outside the cloud outside whatever is happening around does not disturb our flight we know the pilot there will get us there our pilot is Jesus a pilot is Christ whatever is happening in your body whatever is happening with your neighbor there it's not going to disturb our flight tonight a miracle of healing in your life tonight a miracle of healing deliverance healing miracle signs and wonders you are getting there tonight number three total freedom from the life of misery and horror total freedom misery will be forgotten today 
Uh, have you noticed when you're on the flight? If you have been in flight before, you have a be you sat at the side of the window. When you take when you take off from the flight, the houses are now that big. As you, as you get up and the flight is going up, the houses are becoming smaller and smaller. And then you fly the problems and the houses and everything you see they become like dots on the paper and as the flight continues all those things i can't see them anymore as i go through point one point two point three all those things you cannot see them anymore Seen, I cannot see that anymore. Sickness, I cannot see that anymore. We're taking a flight tonight. All our misery, everything will go. All our horror, everything will go. Total freedom from the life of misery and horror. Look at number one. Number one is the flight into the, into the land of milk and honey. Here is the almighty God that gave the promise. He gave the promise to the children of Israel. And he said he will take them out of the land of bondage. Out of the land of darkness out of the land of oppression look at exodus chapter 3 and i'm reading from verse 7 and the lord said and the lord said and the lord said, and the lord said i have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in egypt and I've heard their cry by reason of their tax masters, for I know their sorrows. And then he tells us in verse 8, And I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians. Tonight the Lord has come to deliver you out of whoever is the management director of all your troubles the lord has come to deliver you out of the hands of the egyptians not only pharaoh out of the hands of the egyptians Today is the day of your deliverance. And to bring them up out of the land unto a good land and a large. Unto a land flowing with milk and honey. Unto the place of the Canaanites and the Hivites and the Amorites and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites. How did God deliver them? How is the Lord going to deliver you? He's taking you out of the land of bondage. He's taking you out, out of the land of evil. How did he do it? Exodus chapter 19. I'm reading from verse 4. He said, Exodus 19 verse 4. Ye have seen that what I did unto the Egyptians. And how I bear you on eagles' wings and brought you unto myself. That, 
That was a flight. It, it said, come on here and come on my wings. Have you seen those aeroplanes? Are they mounting up? You see one wing here, one wing there. And then you are comfortably seated on your seat. They make announcements. It's not the announcements that take you there. Those hostesses, they walk up and down. That one is not the thing that takes you there. And sometimes when the plane is going up, you feel something inside you. It's not the feeling that takes you there. And the plane is going down, you feel something in your heart, you feel something inside. The feeling does not have any part in taking you to your destination. It's the aeroplane and you are there. You're fasting your belt. Nothing will take me away from the Lord. You focus your sight. Nothing will take me away from that destination. And I know we're on the flight. You can go to sleep. You can relax. The pilot is at work. God is at work. I said God is at work. And we're moving up. Nearer and nearer. You are in the flight. I remember we were in Cameroon some years ago. And some boys were playing football. And I was preaching to them, to the audience. It came to the time of prayer. And those boys uh, playing football, they stopped the playing of the football. One of them was deaf and dumb. And I said, in Jesus' name, let those deaf ears open. Let those dumb tongues speak out. The boy who was playing football, deaf and dumb, was the number one to receive miracle. Our pilot is there. He's taking us to salvation. He's taking us to healing. He's taking us to miracle. Your own has come. The flight that gets us to salvation. Christ has signed all the papers. Christ has produced all the tickets. And you step on the stairs that gets you into the plane. When you are climbing up those steps of the plane, you are not thinking, will this plane take me there? Of course, you know it will take you there. Will the prayer tonight take me to my salvation? Of course, you know it will take you there. Will the prayer tonight, the ministration tonight, take me to my miracle? Of course, you know, it will take you there. And so, we enter the plane. Come and enter with me. Where are you? I said, come enter with me. Salvation will be yours. Healing will be yours. Deliverance will be yours. Miracle will be yours in Jesus' name. How I bear you on eagle's wings and I brought you to myself. That, that the flight from Egypt to the land of milk and honey. Today, salvation. Today, healing. Today, deliverance. Where are you? You'll get it tonight. I come to point number two. 
Number two is our faith in the Lord for miracle and healing. Our faith in the Lord for miracle and healing. You know, while the flight is going on, I am going to, I mentioned the place. And then they tell us all the people in that place, in that plane, were going to the same place. As the person by my left, where are you going? He tell, it's the place I'm going, he's going. As the person by my right, where are you going? And he says the same thing. And I ask you, where are you going? I'm going to the place of miracle. Where are you going? I'm going to the place of healing. I, I said, that's where I'm going to. And the person by your side, where are you going? He's going to the place of miracle and healing. Ask anybody there, anybody there. They were all going to the same place. All of us will reach there. And then our plane lands. I say, where are we now? They said, the place I had in mind when I stepped on the plane. They said, that's where we are now. And everybody will reach the same place. Miracle for you. Miracle for you. Miracle for you. Healing for you. Tonight, we will reach that same place of miracle in Jesus' name. Look at it. Malachi chapter 4, verse 2. Malachi chapter 4, verse 2. For unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. The pilot is piloting the plane. The plane has two wings. One wing miracle. The other wing healing. And those wings are stretched. And it says with healing in his wings. Which means that tonight, the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, the pilot of his people leading us he has healing miracle in his wings and tonight all we need to do is to believe believe on the lord jesus christ and thou shalt be saved believe on the lord jesus christ and thou shalt be healed now, as the plane is taking us to our destination of miracle and healing, if you have, uh, you know, if you have gone on a plane before, have you seen anybody rising up there? I'm making the hand and shouting and beating whatever object is before him. Have you seen anybody there that is shouting and screaming? And the hostess and the hostesses come and they say, Madam, what's happening? They say, I'm shouting like that so that the, the plane will get me to the destination. Oh, and the hostess says, Madam, no problem. You don't have to shout. You don't have to roll on the ground. You don't have to do any gymnastics. The pilot is in control. I want to tell you that Jesus, our pilot, is in control tonight. He'll take you there. 
he'll get you there believe on that pilot you will get to that destination salvation eternal life abundant life do I, do I have to scream do I have to punish myself do I have to fast I don't want to touch any food I want to get that salvation the pilot will take you there we don't have we don't have to roll on the ground we don't have to pay money your ticket has been paid for by the lord jesus christ it says enter everything you need there everything is already provided because there is miracle in his wings there's healing in his wings there's power in his wings whatever shout whatever gymnastics whatever rigmarole whatever you do will not affect the position and the strength of those wings of our flight it's there and it will take you there tonight salvation has come to you and tonight you are having salvation tonight you are having healing tonight you are having deliverance the pilot will take you there he says he has healing in his wings and he shall go forth and grow up as calves of the storm look at mark chapter 5 mark chapter 5 we're looking at verse 34 here is a woman that had suffered for 12 years she didn't know about the flight we are talking about and so she went to the bicycle rider it's called a physician and then went to another one and those ones they couldn't do anything to fly over the pool of the issue of blood the pilot only the pilot can go over the sea over the ocean over the mountain over every challenge and then will get us there And so she said, if I may but touch his garment. Touch his garment. I don't have to cry. Touch his garment. I don't have to panic. Touch his garment. I don't have to go and beg Peter and John. I can touch the garment myself. Touch the garment. If I may but touch his garment. All that the bicycle rider physicians could not do, I will have. He will fly me there. He will fly you there. And so she came near. No crying. No begging. No pleading no fear nothing else and stretch your hand your healing is available you stretch your hand of faith your salvation is available you stretch your hand of faith and he touched his garment not his head not even his hand not his side not his feet he touched his garment everything connected with christ has power his garment has power his minister has power 
even the shadow of peter has power to deliver that miracle and that healing on your life right there 12 years of problem of infirmity everything stopped at the same moment 12 years of problem will vanish away from your life tonight 20 years 40 years of problem will go tonight look at that verse 34 of mark chapter 5 and he said unto her daughter thy faith has made thee whole my brother there tonight my sister there tonight your faith has made you whole go in peace and be whole of thy plague the sickness of many years will leave your body tonight the problem of many years will leave your life tonight the sin of many years will leave your life tonight you touch him and heaven will touch you you touch him a miracle will touch you you touch him and salvation will touch you peace will come total healing deliverance will come go in peace and be whole of thy plague look at verse 36 36 in verse 36 and as soon as jesus heard the word that was spoken he said unto the ruler of the synagogue be not afraid only believe be not afraid be not afraid only believe that's how salvation comes will i be saved be not afraid only believe will my guilt go away be not afraid only believe will i be healed tonight be not afraid only believe i've tried i've tried i've prayed i fasted i wasn't healed all those 12 years will i be healed tonight be not afraid only believe my son is at the point of death my daughter is at the point of death will he be healed will she be healed be not afraid only believe miracle comes when you don't have any doubt any fear that the flight will take you where you are going you don't have to do anything the pilot has done everything tonight salvation for everyone tonight healing for everyone did you hear when jesus was here he went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for god was with him and it's the same yesterday today and forever praise the lord tonight you have got it already i'm looking at point number three here number three we're looking at total freedom from the life of misery and horror we're flying to a new land where there's no yoke where there's no yoke where there's no oppression and where there is no bondage the children of israel have been in egypt and the land of bondage for centuries their grandparents 
were in Egypt. Then their great grandfathers in Egypt. All those children of Israel in Egypt. Many years have passed. Many generations have passed. And the present generation, they found themselves in Egypt. If we are going to talk about generational problem, they are there. Generational bondage, they are there. The chastisement of many, many years, hundreds of years, they were there. And the bondage has gone on from year to year, from decade to decade, from century to century, and from generation to generation. One day, like today. I said one day, like today. God said, I am come to deliver them. He's come to deliver you. From your sin, he will break that yoke. From your sickness, he'll break that yoke. If you have been in misery for many, many years, tonight is the night of your release, your deliverance, your freedom, your miracle, your salvation. This is the time of setting you free. He said, I am calm. Your misery is over tonight. Punishment, perdition over tonight. The plague and the perplexity over tonight. Look at John chapter 8. I'm reading from verse 30. In John chapter 8, reading from verse 30, as he spake these words, many believed on him. He was still speaking. He had not landed. Was still in the air. We have not landed. And then we see familiar territory through the window. And even before they make the announcement, I say, we're soon going to land. We're soon getting there. And as the Lord was speaking, the people already, they were believing. Salvation, I believe. Healing, I believe. Deliverance, I believe. Miracle, I believe. As he spake these words, many believed on him. And then in verse 31, then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. If ye continue in my word, the, play, the, the, the pilot is making an announcement now. And he's saying, We're about landing. Anytime you want to travel, this plane is available. And you come to the plane, and we take all routes. We go to the, we go to that place. We go that place. We go that place. And if you continue patronizing us, any destination you want to get to, continue with us. Continue with us. You will always get to that good destination. You want to get to this plane is available. The pilots are available. They'll get you there. Miracle of deliverance, the pilot is there. Miracle of healing, the pilot is there. Miracle of breaking the yoke, the pilot is there. Anytime, every time, 
continue in my word ye shall be my disciples indeed you will not be an occasional traveler passenger your seat is available on that plane there's a part there's an agreement with the lord as you continue in my word then are ye my disciples indeed there are people who do not register for the airplane and any time they want um, a seat on the plane they go to the counter and they say what's your name he doesn't have a place in their register and then they check up they say today we're sorry all the seats are booked but when you come in your name is written in heaven you are a follower of jesus christ as you come they look up at you welcome welcome uh, you say my name is oh we know your name your name is here and the plane is never full not to be able to take you every time continue with him heaven will always answer you and then he says he says in verse 32 and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free and ye shall know the truth the truth is christ the truth is our savior the truth is our redeemer i'm sitting down there and then the pilot comes in and before he goes to the cockpit before he goes to the place it's going to make the flight he branches where i'm sitting and he says good afternoon mr so-and-so good afternoon pastor so-and-so welcome to the plane relax i'm taking you there when well, your name is in the book of life the pilot knows you the savior knows you the redeemer knows you our deliverer knows you and it's going to take us on the flight says good afternoon so and so my disciple my child a citizen of the kingdom of god says relax it will not take us time we will soon be there he shall know the truth the lord jesus christ you know him experientially you know him personally and he knows you personally i know my sheep my sheep are mine and every time you have a desire a need it will be supplied unto you tonight tonight i want to invite you to come to a special place in the heart of god to come to a special place in the ministry and in the kingdom of christ any bondage it'll set you free and it will not take time because we are not going by bicycle we're not going by boat we're not going by motorcycle we're not going by car or bus we're flying there i said we're flying there and whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be healed 
sometimes the flight is in the morning sometimes the flight is in the evening sometimes the flight is in the night doesn't matter the time doesn't matter the month doesn't matter the day all that matters is the pilot that is taking us there tonight is your night say tonight is my night sin will vanish away sickness will vanish away all the plagues will vanish away it's bowed and eyes closed there's room for you others have been saved there is room for you others are sitting down and they are relaxing their miracle there is room for you you want the salvation of the lord you want the forgiveness of the lord the lord jesus our pilot is calling you come call and you will be saved come call eternal life will come to you it's about an eyes closed you want to enter into that flight that takes us to salvation raise up your hand you want to receive the privilege of being forgiven set free and saved raise up your hand right there christ has paid for your ticket to heaven christ has paid everything there is that there is need to pay for you to have salvation and eternal life don't allow your ticket to be wasted raise up that hand and say lord i'm here i am for that flight that takes me from earth to heaven raise up that hand raise up that hand if you are raising up the hand you will stand up stand up if you are raising up your hand you say lord i want to get to heaven i want to have your salvation i want to have your forgiveness i want to have your freedom i know you are paid for what it takes to get me to heaven lord i come lord i come rise up there and i'm praying with you now so that you will go on this flight and the salvation of the lord and the freedom of the lord will be given to you tonight father in the name of jesus we thank you and we bless your name you are a good god it is not your will that anybody will perish in sin and so you've given us the savior the redeemer our lord jesus christ our pilot that takes us from earth to heaven and these ones have raised up their hands here at the alpha location they are online over the radio on the television every continent every country of the world i pray lord forgive their sins in jesus name give them eternal life in jesus name you have said be not afraid only believe we believe we believe we believe save everyone that raises up the hand that stands up that calls upon you right now in jesus name thank you lord thank you lord it is done you are saved you are forgiven you have been set free now you have 
eternal life. Bear witness in their hearts, Lord, that they are now in the kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Keep on standing. Our counselors are there. And they will give you the slip to feel, and you do all the things they tell you to do. And welcome into the kingdom of God. Please go to those who have given their life to Christ. We, we are asking our pastors and coordinators to go in the crowd to help to get the information from the new souls. Please stand up and go directly and help our counselors. Please write clearly. Write in full letters. And uh, write their telephone number. The areas where they live. And uh, they are full address how we can get in touch with them easily. Counselors, please hurry up. If you are following us online and you have given your life to, G to the Lord, after listening to this message, there is a link that is uh, below the screen. Just click on that link. You will get all the details that will allow you to put your information. If you receive the message through radio or television, you can send you can send your name and your phone number the, where you live through SMS or through WhatsApp. You will use the following number. Le plus 234. You can use this number plus 234-915-444-9263. Counselors, please hurry up. Go around the crowd. Don't be at the same place altogether. Just spread all over the crowd. The souls have been accepted and uh, they need your attention. Please hurry up. Uh, for the new converts, there will be an online banquet on Saturday the 26th. There will be also a banquet in all our 
churches. From 3 p.m. Are you making progress? Please hurry up. At, at, at the same time, the other people continue praying. What you are expecting, continue praying for that. The Lord will visit us right now. Counselors, please hurry up. Please hurry up. Please hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. If you are finished, counselors, please let us know. At my uh, right hand side. Have you finished there? If you have finished, can you let us know? Please give the forms or the slip to the supervisors. In the center, at the middle, have you finished? Have you collected all the information? Please hurry up. I'm on the At my left hand side. Have you finished? If you are finished, please let us know. You have just entered into the kingdom of God. Please hurry up. Have you finished there at the right side? In the middle. Please let us know. At the left side, please, supervisors, let us know if you are finished. We are waiting for you. We are waiting for you. Hurry up, hurry up. I can see that at the right side it is finished in the middle. Uh, it's finished. At the, right, at the left side. Please just signal. That's, just let me know if you are finished there. Praise the Lord. 
praise the Lord. The time has come. We will allow our daddy to come to pray for our problems. Let everybody be on their feet. Praise the Lord. Our flight is now going to arrive at the place of healing. Healing in its wings. Everyone that enters into his plane, the pilot will get you to that miracle of healing and deliverance. If you need the healing, raise up your hand. Then you lay the other hand where you have the challenge. The blind eyes will open and see. Your lame legs will have strength and you rise up and walk. Any swelling in your body will vanish away. Any pain you have in your body will vanish away. Long standing problem, this is the moment of your healing. Be not afraid, only believe. I believe. I believe. It will happen as we all believe. We're praying now. Get ready. The healing is coming your way. Father, in Jesus' name. God, you're wonderful. You are the wonder walking God. The name of Jesus, your son, will never fail. The strides by which you are healed will never fail. Your love will never fail. Our faith in your faithfulness will not be disappointed. I bring everyone before you right now. And I'm asking, Lord, your healing hand will touch everyone tonight in Jesus' name. Any sickness in your body, any challenge in your life, the Lord brings healing and solution right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Those blind eyes now in this place and everywhere be healed in jesus name i pray that the dimness and the darkness will vanish away and your sight will be bright those who are deaf and dumb there's a time for them to hear and to speak and to speak touch them with the healing miracle in Jesus name let, let the dumb speak out let the deaf hear it is done I pray for those who have any swelling in their body whatever is the cause of that swelling anywhere in their body the Lord touch you now. His power touch you now. The strides of Jesus heal you now. All that sweaty to my right, to my left, at the back, in the middle, anywhere, online, swelling, vanish away in Jesus' name. I pray for those who have breathing problem, asthma, or any other impediment in your breathing. The Lord touch you right now. The Lord heal you right now. The Lord deliver you right now. In Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, for those who have any other challenge in the body. 
12 years sickness any challenge in the body is your blood any challenge in the body pile any challenge in the body cancer any challenge in the body ulcer any challenge in the body HIV AIDS any challenge in the body tuberculosis any challenge in the body any disease any sickness the Lord's healing come unto you right now be healed in Jesus name accomplish your miracle do your wonder let everyone receive right now my brother receive my sister there receive my friend receive it is done thank you lord because we know you have done the miracle the healing in every life jesus mighty name we pray you will check yourself now anywhere the problem was this is the time to check the healing the healing is there already and you will come out and give your testimony wonderful